When you think of Jamaica, you probably think of the legendary musician, Bob Marley. Or perhaps the golden sandy beaches and blue seas of Montego Bay. You probably don't think about mining and I'm pretty sure skiing doesn't pop into your head. But skiing is what springs to mind when you visit the bauxite and alumina operations of Alcoa. I'm Metal Bulletin's Andrea Hotter and I made a trip down to the Caribbean island of Jamaica to find out more. High above the plateau at Jamaica's Mount Oliphant is a technology that would traditionally be more at home in a ski resort. An almost silent 3.4 kilometres long rope conveyor system whirls overhead, transporting bauxite from Alcoa's South Manchester mine operation to St. Jago, Clarendon. Looking at first glance uncannily like a lift to transport skiers across the mountains, Ropecom was completed within 16 months in 2008 using Doppelmayr transport technology. That's an Austrian company making chairlifts, cable cars, gondolas and surface toes for skiing. It unlocks inaccessible terrain. To transport the 14,000 tonnes a day that is moved would have needed 1,200 truck journeys back and forth along the narrow and winding roads of Jamaica. Huge trucks bring the bauxite from two mines to Mount Oliphant, where it is carefully sampled and sifted. All the large stones are rejected so that only bauxite is left. It takes just 18 minutes to get bauxite along the length of the system into St. Jago. The system transports around 1,000 tonnes an hour. An average 3.2 million tonnes of bauxite is moved in this way annually. Now, one of the critical features about the rope conveyor system is its noise control mechanism. If you listen, you'll realise that the decibel level is minimal. Now that has to be compared against a truck, if you were to use trucks to do the transportation. So in addition to there being no spillage and dust nuisance accompanying the operations, the noise level is minimal. The system belt has corrugated sidewalls and integrated wheel sets running on fixed ropes, guided over 11 tower structures. It is a system that delivers a thousand tons of bauxite per hour. We run it for 16 hours and typically we deliver 14,000 tons per day with two hours being used for maintenance. Okay, when it gets here, it is blended with bauxite that is of a different quality. Um, on trains to take it to the refinery which is about 20 miles or half an hour away from this location. We employ a very rigid quality management system. At the other end the bauxite is discharged and then moved by train to Alcoa's refinery which it operates in a majority owned joint venture called Jamalco. The government owns the remaining 45% stake. So next time you're in Jamaica look out for Ropecon. My name's Andrea Hotter and I'm reporting for Metal Bulletin.